motor, pedals, sitting down, three wheels, suspension. No, he ain't gonna, oh my God. Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And this is ridiculous. Let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. Okay, so first up, huge thanks, huge thanks to Robert. I wrote to him about this e-bike and he was kind enough to let me check it out and even just have it for myself for, for an hour, a couple hours to, to check this three-wheeled recumbent e-bike out. So you're gonna see a ride first maybe and you know my reaction on how this thing is how this thing functions and later on i'll tell you like all about the features specs and you know details of this machine and it's it's absolutely ridiculous so yeah let's get into the riding footage first okay first ride on the recumbent e-bike that's absolutely overpowered i don't know how to sit <laughs> I don't know. okay i'm sitting down oh boy oh boy Okay, so I guess now you'll enjoy the view on my crotch. I'm sorry, it's a recumbent bike. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> so there is the display. It's actually my phone connected to the controller so you can see all the data. Mirror, I just didn't get like many instructions on how to ride this thing from Robert, but I guess he, he believes in me. So thank you, Robert. We have three modes. <laughs> They're right here, uh, 20, 40, kilometers an hour and max speed around 60 to 70. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right brake, left brake is here and this is the throttle, like a motorcycle throttle on the right, ooh, ooh, ooh. On the right side. Obviously pedals and I'm, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna fit anywhere. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do it. Oh, uh. Oh my god, that's so weird. I'm, I literally feel like I would have a workout on a gym. OMG. OMG. Oh my god, what's, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's 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 so soft. <laughs> a few explanations later. Okay, so I got some more instructions essentially like now i understand why we have like brakes on each side because when you brake oh yeah it actually turns on one side or the other so that's pretty clever and oh my god <laughs> people are just watching so much yeah because like this it's tilting and yeah with the brake it's it's so different than anything else i've ever experienced oh my god i can't really pedal because <laughs> it just throws me off balance and the pedals are just a bit too far away so probably i would need to adjust the seat but you know that's not happening it's it's not that powerful actually uh, the controller here is the sabaton um <laughs> it's so nice whoa, whoa. <laughs> the controller is a sabaton 200 amp but um um it's set to 70 amps tops like 60 70 amps so it's like around four to five kilowatts and oh it's so so different too i have to just break a couple times to see how it, how that works okay i got you so it, it, it's set to 70 amps so it's not the most acceleration but it can hit 60 70 kilometers an hour uh and you know the motor could handle probably around 100 amps it, it's set to less because the battery actually it's uh, is the limitation here it's 72 volt system uh, 40 amp hours around 300 cells and these are panasonic cells which are 5 amps continuous power you know in easy words like that's the most uh power you can get with this setup in the battery okay so i have green there but i'm actually not sure if i can fit okay 
<laughs> reverse. Reverse. And let's go the Oh no reverse? No? Okay, let's go. Oh no, it's it's too late. <laughs> I can't ride this thing. <laughs> I feel like a moron. But I am. I'm a greenhorn of recumbent bikes with two separate brakes and a suspension system and <laughs> tilting maneuvers and Jesus Christ. I, I, I thought it would be a bit more stable, but you know, that's, that, that, that's how it is. I think I need to get used to it a bit more. Honestly, <laughs> I don't feel so stable at it, on it now. But that's for sure like the matter of learning how to use the brakes here. I didn't know, like didn't expect at all that it will be so, you know, soft and wobbly. Oh boy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. And I've never seen the world here from such a, you know, low down experience. Like that's basically lower than when I'm sitting on a unicycle. Whoa. Yeah, the cool thing is that I can only just sit, sit down all the time. Barely fits, barely fits in most circumstances. I just need to learn how to brake properly on this thing. So this e-bike, believe it or not, was actually made only by Robert. It's a DIY build. He made this e-bike himself. Like naturally he got, you know, parts from, from different companies like, you know, the, the motor or the battery, but he actually also uh, spot welded the battery himself. So he made the whole package here, which is around 300 cells himself, which is absolutely ridiculous. Whole frame was welded by him. You know, all the engineering, the, you know, suspension system, the suspension system in the rear as well was made by him. So huge kudos to him. And actually, if you want such a e-bike recumbent freewheeler thing, then you can also buy it from him. It costs around, this exact model costs around 8,000 euros, I think. But if you want to make like a custom one for yourself, I think he can do it as well. So you can hit him up via email or just visit his page. Let's get into, you know, some of the key features of, uh, of this recumbent e-bike. So you're just sitting here and you're basically, you know, laying down on the e-bike, which makes it way more aerodynamic and the center of the gravity is really down low. It's a really wide e-bike at 120 centimeters. So it's sometimes difficult to just um, go with this thing on a bicycle path. But when you go off-road, you have just a lot more, uh, it's just a lot more stable. It's uh, fully, it, it has suspension front and rear. It has hydraulic brakes. The battery is a 72 volt system with 40 amp hours, so around three um, kilowatt hours of capacity. With usual riding speed, it's around, you know, 200 kilometers of range on uh, this e-bike. If you go really fast, it's probably more around 60, 70, you know, the, the usual thing with, uh, with e-bikes. Now, obviously this bike the AY built got through a lot of stages and this is now the current stage and also the final stage as robert says the next recumbent will be like a totally new frame it's powered by this sabaton controller here in the rear uh, the motor is actually something that even he doesn't know what it is it looks to be i don't know like an inter uh, like a nine continent or some sort of MXS 3K turbo copy, like I have to ask Marek what it is. The, the power here is around four to five kilowatts. The white bike actually weighs 120 kilograms. Uh, in terms of power, you know everything. There's also controlled via a MPE module, which is a Polish company. You can check them out in the link in the description. You can see all the data here on your, on your screen. The pedals do work. So in Poland, you know, when you have pedals, then basically the police like can't do really a, a, a lot about it so that's pretty cool and the chain actually goes from up in the front down through here through this funny piping and down into the rear wheel let me let me tell you a bit more about the steering because it's real weird um really different from what i'm used to essentially it feels a bit like a workout when you're riding uh, riding this so it's actually not like turning it's more of a uh, different mechanism. I don't know how to call it. It's, it feels a bit like flying a helicopter, even though I'd never flew a heli helicopter. So when you push here or when you push on the other side uh, or just, you know, 
uh, pull on these, then the wheels turn. Uh, they, they don't angle and there is no, you know, leaning mechanism as we see in EV4. Robert told me that he doesn't want to do it. Actually, the suspension is like super soft. So that's, uh, that's pretty amazing about this vehicle. You turn essentially by once again pushing or pulling these things but you also can just press a brake and then it automatically sort of turns uh, on the spot so that's sort of how it, how it works when it comes to the brakes uh, these are what are these tectro oh it's tectro tectro artis and i think 200 millimeter rotors no floating rotors and in the rear there is a Another brake, which is just a parking brake, you don't use that when uh, when riding. So the funny thing about riding is like when you need to brake just straight, you need to brake with the, these two simultaneously, and it's it's just real weird. You can see, you can see that in the uh, in the ride video on on how that works. Going back to the suspension, it's actually motorcycle grade. So these are 120 millimeter shocks, and uh, they're actually really really soft to my taste. But off-road, they I think it's like a good combination, but maybe not for my weight. I don't know. Maybe for my weight is just too a bit too tough. I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't ridden these bikes, so I think the suspension is good anyways. And in the rear, we don't have one, we don't have two, we have actually three motorcycle grade suspension, also 120 millimeters. And as you can see, I can just Yeah, it just it just works. <laughs> There's a big you know leverage here. Uh, on on these uh, on the suspension, so it's um, it's just really soft. There's a bit of travel, but I think also not too much. Battery can be pretty easily removed, and yeah, I think all in all that's it. And you know, and then here's the horn. So yeah, this is how a recumbent electric bike by Robert looks like. This. So yeah, I'm gonna take it uh, for another spin, just see how it rides and report back to you. <laughs> this dude likes to off road. I think I can't go there. Can I go there? Maybe I can go off road and on road. Yeah, that works. Works just fine. Easy. But I don't want to go off the cliff <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god okay we made it did we make it at least here we can make a u-turn just in case we made it yay and we we need to go because whoa <laughs> what the... i feel like the left brake breaks a little bit less than the right one Left, left here oh yeah and it has actually indicators so if you just press this button on the left here you see indicators that turn on and I can also turn on the lights let's do that <laughs> I'm on a semi recumbent bike <laughs> Woo! oh oh Woo oh <laughs> the right wheel lifted shit <laughs> oh boy Exciting times, exciting times. Okay, now let's make the turn with just the brake. Let's see how that works. Whoa, it has pretty good turning ratio, actually. Oh man, I am so thankful to Robert that he let me ride this thing for a bit more. I thought like, you know, I wouldn't even get to ride it Whoa, a lot. Just because, you know, it's such a unique product but I do and now horn time okay so I thought it would be worse with you know just fitting everywhere but you yeah, know it fits perfectly fine and that's what she said I thought it would be too big and that's what she said as well as well <laughs> Jesus Christ Okay, let's hit it. We have a wider road now. I have more distance to break just in case. 
Nice. Woo! I feel like going like 40 maybe, something like that. Woo! Pretty comfy, pretty comfy, I gotta say. Can go off road here. That'll be fun. Oh, nice. The subs oh, that's okay. That works. Suspension works like a charm. Deep sand, no problem. <laughs> okay, I see that works. That works really nicely and super stable as well. Woo! <laughs> so no matter the terrain, this works actually super good. Like it's actually really comfortable and super stable. Like for sand and like off-roady bits and in the who uh, in the woods, this is a killer. Oh man, I love the. Okay, but I'm still not used to the brakes here and how this thing wobbles. Here is just so weird, but I'm. I think I'm getting used to it. Yeah. Okay, we have a left turn, and I'm just braking with the right. I'm with the left brake. That works mighty fine. I gotta say, the faster you go, the more stable it feels. I I thought it wouldn't feel this way. I thought it would get more twitchy, but it's not. Okay, no, no, that's not, ooh, that's not recumbent friendly, <laughs> three wheel friendly. Okay, I also forgot to mention here is like a small trunk and you can also put in more stuff in here. So now I put my camera on the helmet so maybe you can see a bit more of, uh, you know, how this thing just behaves on the road. Oh, let's, let's maybe sit down from the front. I think that's how it works better. So just go up in the front and now you can slide down here. Yeah, that works. Okay, so let's turn it on. Oh, it actually, I think also has a alarm. That's pretty cool. So lights are on, lights engaged. Wait, where are the lights here? Lights engaged, uh, third mode. Take me to ludicrous speed. Oh, and I that in the reverse. <laughs> nice. I hope you can see a bit more of the riding now. <laughs> People go nuts about this thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's still need to get used to the braking. Oh, and while we're at it, we can actually check how how it accelerates. Let's go. Let's go to 50. I, I don't want to go faster. Okay, 50. So it's 12 seconds, around 13 seconds to, to 50. Like as said, not, not the fastest time, you know, possible, obviously. Really cool phone holder here. But man, that's just so cool also to see like all the stuff here just working. I definitely want to go just a bit more off-road to see how, you know, that behaves there. This, uh, Robert told me that he has it just for not in the city, basically. And, you know, he just likes to take this thing uh, to the woods and to, to, to ride a bit, then to ride a bit there. And he's actually already uh, planning to do the next, uh, the next e-bike. It's gonna have 600 cells. And it's gonna be exciting. Oh, no, not now. Think we are. So that's gonna be pretty exciting and way more powerful as well. Okay, that's that's really wide for it. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but suspension works well. I think I can't go there because it's just too narrow. 
Oh, here it's also too narrow. Can I go through here? Let's see. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm getting pretty comfortable just going 50 now. It's really like riding a helicopter, sort of. I think that, that the rear brake would be actually quite useful. Like for, for a noob like me driving first time, I think that the rear brake would be just a way more comfortable option. Because I don't have to think about, you know, precisely braking with one or the other brake. Okay, let's go off-road. <laughs> it's so much fun off-road. It's so stable. I gotta say, like, for, for city riding, like, I think it'd be, it'd be better if I'd be on the road, like, honestly. Uh, but it's still fun, it's still doable, as you can see. Sometimes it's really, there's not much, uh, you know, space left, but uh, it sort of works. And turn with left brake. I, I know, man, like, for, for city riding, like, it's pretty hard to... Oops. Oh, I forgot, <laughs> because I have three wheels, <laughs> if I have a pothole or something, I'm gonna he hit it with either wheel, like, it's not possible to just um, not go for the pothole. I'm gonna hit, hit it with one wheel eventually. Yes, off-road is where this thing shines. And I wanted to find out about one thing. Okay, it's just not a bit not enough power to um, to drift with this thing. But let's let's try once more, maybe. Whoa! Nope. <laughs> nope. No, not enough power. Needs more power. <laughs> Maybe if I lean forward more. Let's see that. Yep, sort of works, but yeah, I don't want to destroy that too much. Turning radius, not enough. Reverse, engaged. Reverse riding, pedaling, done. Riding up in the front, done. <laughs> so now we're in the off-roady part. Let's see how it behaves here. I just need to remember how huge this thing is. But it's so much fun, dude. So much fun. I can't remember the last time I, I drove something so fun and different. This makes me happy. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so I think now it's slowly time to return to, to Robert. So, yeah, let's just make our way there. Okay, so now you can see I also, like, once again connected the bicycle display. So it shows me the, 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 the battery percentage and, and all those things. So, yeah, 79%, pretty cool. Oh, bad boy. And it shows me the speed as well. Got 30 now, okay. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I gotta say, like, it's a really novel construction. Um, once again, I would have it for, I would have it for a longer period of time to see just, you know, how, how it rides, uh, if you can ride this thing properly, like, if it doesn't, you know, tip over, because I had, just during this test drive, a couple of situations where my, uh, my wheels lifted. So that's that. I think it's super comfortable just to ride this thing off-road. I think even the seat is pretty cool. Like with the, with the strings, I don't know, with the small cables attached there. Uh, I think that it, it doesn't actually need a real brake. This would be really cool. Uh, just not, not, not only for parking, but also for 
you know, using it whilst, uh, whilst you're moving. And sadly at this point my GoPro battery died, so I need to tell you the rest of my opinion on this thing. Like, it's really cool, it's great for off-road, not really sure if it does make a lot of sense in a city unless you're going on the road and obviously it's big and it's wide so it's not good for every occasion but i think in its niche like really riding off-road just having fun a different sort of sort of vehicle i think it's a really cool idea and i can't wait to see the next invention by by robert So if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.